And now to the state legislature and a bill that would have expanded postpartum care to Medicaid clients. It died in the House today despite strong support there and in the Senate. Mississippi has one of the nation's highest rates of children dying shortly after birth. 12 News' Town Hall has reaction to this defeat from Medicaid advocates. A Senate bill that extended postpartum care from 2 to 12 months died on the House calendar shortly before noon, killed on a deadline date. It's a bit disingenuous for the state of Mississippi to continue this rhetoric that we want to be the safest place for babies and for children. The postpartum coverage bill is authored by Senator Kevin Blackwell and just last week it passed out of committee. Motion recess subject to call. We're going to check where we are and make sure we're done with our work. Not even standing a chance today, the House adjourned before taking up Senate Bill 2033. Well, I guess I have to react uh, to what the speaker said at, you know, the leadership, that he felt that this was an expansion of Medicaid. The bill's death comes as Mississippi persistently remains one of the highest infant mortality rates in the nation, according to the State Department of Health. When once the, the mother has the child here in the state of Mississippi, we just say, oh, you know, it's on you now, you know. Reporting in Jackson, Tell Ta 12 News. And still to come, your winning lottery numbers. That and your full forecast is up after the break. You're watching 12-12. 